channel I know it's been a minute since I've done a video life has just been crazy as usual I know I always say that but it really has it's oh god it needs to slow down already just saying but um, yeah so I'm back and with a full episode this time yay! I, I don't know how long it's going to be I don't know if I'll be able to make it as long as previous videos um, but it'll be more of getting back into our full-length episodes. Um, our horror news segment this week is going to be a little bit more of a channel update. Uh, there'll be a little bit of horror news stuff, but more of a channel update. Just to let you guys know what to expect in the future and tell you about some stuff that's going on in relation to the channel. Um, so first off, even though, yes, this is getting back into normal swing of things, um, I will not be going back to doing one episode every other week just because life has been so crazy and with my job, my schedule is all over the place. I don't even really have a schedule. <laughs> but um, it'll just be whenever I have stuff to talk about. Um, I'm gonna try to do one at least once a month. Um, subscription boxes and stuff are kind of all over the place too, so I'm gonna be doing it more around when I get in a box. That way too, I'm not rushing to try to find something and, you know. It, it, I'm still gonna keep the channel up for you guys, but it just won't be as much as I was doing there for a little while. Um, I wanna thank you guys for your patience with me. I know things have been quiet on the channel and it hasn't been quite what it was, but I've been kind of going through some stuff and I appreciate your patience and thank you for sticking around. I, I love you guys. I appreciate you all so much. Um, on that note too, I just recently received some very sad news. Um, if you guys have been a follower of my channel for a while. I'm sure you've seen in comments and heard me mention uh, David Martin and he has been a subscriber to my channel pretty much from the very beginning. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that he subscribed to my channel after I did probably either the first or second video. Um, and has just been such a huge supporter, always active in commenting on videos and suggesting movies for me. And even when I had Patreon, he was a supporter on that. And um, I found out the other day that he has passed away. So that's that's hard because, like I said, I, I love you guys and I love all of my subscribers and. I love seeing you comment on videos and interacting with videos on here and uh, like I said he's just been, I've had the channel for uh, probably about two years now and he's been a, a supporter from the very beginning so he's definitely going to be missed and um, actually just a few days before he passed away um, we were actually talking about me doing another full episode again and I told him that it was probably going to be happening pretty soon. I had some new content and stuff and I was hoping on getting a new full episode up soon and sadly he didn't get to see it. So this one's kind of in memory of him and it's just, it was, it was pretty sad. Um, I don't even really know what, what happened or anything like that. Just, yeah things happen though but 
he's definitely going to be missed and I'm sure like I said if you've been a follower of the channel for e even a while even just a few months you've seen <laughs> that he always comments on all the videos he always has something to say and he was such a great guy but um, another kind of sad piece of news um, Coffin Box, you guys know how much I love Coffin Box, which is the collaboration between Horror Pack and Rumorg Magazine, is ending. Yes, it's so sad. Um, this this episode, I will be unboxing the Horror Pack, or uh, Coffin Box, sorry, and I've actually already filmed that segment of it, but um, yeah, they... Um, They've been doing it for a year, I believe. Um, it's just, it's been great. I've loved every single one of the boxes that I've received. I think I, I think I only missed two boxes from the time that they started. Um, but uh, the main reason why they're ending is shipping costs the rise on that of course I mean if you guys buy stuff online frequently you've probably noticed that shipping costs have gone up on things so that's an issue for them um, but also the quality of products because you know the box is only $19.95 um, so they've been having problems getting good quality stuff that they can continue to keep it at that price point so I think it was just as much as we've loved it it was not what's the word I'm thinking for thinking of um, it just didn't work out for the companies so that's sad I'm, I'm really 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 sad that coffin box is ending but um, not to worry there will still be subscription boxes um hopefully i'll be able to start doing glamour gold boxes again soon it's gonna be a little while for those because they're like all sold out but um pretty ghouls has subscription boxes that they've started doing and um i did the valentine's day one last time there is a it's a clown theme box it's escaping me right now <laughs> but there's one, another one coming up soon so the next video will be one of their subscription boxes and um, I'm thinking about starting up a subscription to horror pack and doing the DVDs of those so not to worry there will be plenty more unboxings plus you know I always like to support small businesses so I like to get random mystery boxes to, to undo for that but um, that's it for the sad news, okay? No more sad news. We're, we're done with sad things now. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but they're coming out with a new Adams Family movie. And it's, it looks really, really cute. They just released the first trailer of it today, I believe. It was either today or yesterday they released the trailer for it. And um, it's, they've, had the promotional poster out circulating around Facebook for a while now and I didn't want to get my hopes up because I'm sure you guys have seen the whole Beetlejuice 2 thing and other Adams Family things saying that they're fixing to do a movie and it ends up being fake so didn't want to get my hopes up on that but they've released a trailer so I think we're actually gonna get it and it's it's like a little animated cartoon thing, and of course it's not going to be as good as the original Adams Family, but it still looks hella cute, and I'm going to watch it for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to see more trailers come out for it and actually see what the plot is of the movie, because this one, it, it doesn't really give any hint to what the plot is, more of just introducing us to the characters and we can see who's playing the voices of them, and I'm I'm pretty okay with who they have to do the voices of them. I think it'll, I think it'll be fun. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a fun thing to watch anyway. This, the kind of stuff where they turn horror movies into like cartoons or whatever, I just, I think it's fun. I know a lot of people don't like it. They think, you know, it ruining the original. You can't ruin the original. You just can't. 
but it's just a fun watch. Sometimes you just need something fun and spooky to watch. But um, another thing I'm thinking about doing in the future, and now this is just, just a thought. I have no idea if this is actually gonna work out or anything, but um, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about how I do gaming and stuff like that. I'm thinking about starting a Twitch account, maybe. Is anybody interested in that? Because all of the games that I play are all horror themed. I, I still play Friday the 13th. Um, I play Dead by Daylight. I'm playing Bloodborne right now. Any horror game, I love the um, Devil May Cry. I'm fixing to get the fifth one that just came out. Any horror type of game that I can get my hands on, I'm going to play it. And I know you guys love horror content, so I don't know. It's a thought. Would anybody be interested in watching me play horror-themed PlayStation games? And it would, be, it, would be, it would be all PlayStation. It wouldn't be, like, computer or anything like that. It would be all on the PlayStation. But I don't know. Would anybody be interested in watching me play some horror games on the PlayStation? Maybe? The Dead by Daylight ones always look fun. I watch people occasionally play games on Twitch, and um, the Dead by Daylight ones are always fun to watch. So those would probably be some of the first ones I would end up doing is some Dead by Daylight. I love it. <laughs> um, I like being the killer more than the survivor or the victim because, I don't know, it's just it's more fun. But occasionally i do like when i'm playing with friends i'll i'll be the survivor and it's pretty hilarious to watch me do that because i freak out i get so anxious and the the, the killer will just come up behind me and i just freak out but you know <laughs> it's i i've been told that i'm pretty entertaining when i play i i move around a whole lot <laughs> i have the control and like I'm, even though you know moving the controller isn't going to make your character go any faster, I still do it. People think it's hilarious, but I don't know. If you think it's something that, that y'all would be interested in, you want to watch me play some horror games, just comment below. Let me know what you think. It might work out. It might not. I might do like one game and then decide I don't like it and then, <laughs> but you know, just let me know what you think. If there's any other content that you would like to see me try to incorporate into the channel or anything like that, just let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. But um, I guess that's it for now. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to talk about, but I can't think about it. Or I can't think of it. So that's it for the next or for this segment. The next one will be the movie review. Alright you guys, so this past weekend I got the chance to go and see the new Pet Cemetery that I have been so looking forward to. Um, not quite as much as Halloween. Halloween I was pretty hyped for that, but um, I've been really excited to see this one too. Pet Cemetery has always been one of my favorite movies. Always. I have seen it so many times. The second one, yeah, the second one was okay. I've watched it several times. I like it, but first one is always my favorite. Now, um, this review, I will tr I'm gonna try to keep it spoiler free, but I mean, just gonna say right now from the get go, there was not a whole lot of difference between this movie and the original one when it comes to storyline. There was like a couple little plot twists that were different, but even no, really. There was two. There's two little plot twists that are different. So if you don't want to know what those plot twists are, then don't watch this movie review because I'm going to be talking about those. I mean, it's not a huge, I personally don't think it's a huge deal breaker on going to see the movie. I knew about them when I went and saw it and I, 
it, it didn't affect my viewing of the movie at all. But if you don't want to know, then pause this, go watch, go see the movie for yourself, and then come back and watch this. But, um, yeah, so I was, I was surprised that they didn't add more than they did. Um, the movie was beautiful, don't get me wrong. It, it was a gorgeous movie. They did such a good job with it. I was, I was thrilled. It had a very spooky undertone throughout the entire movie. Even the parts that were supposed to be normal, um, it still had, you still had this, this spooky undertone, this like foreboding presence. Like you knew something was going to happen. Um, but yeah, it, it, the storyline stayed very, very true to the original. There was a few little, little plot twists, like they, they talked about the Wendigo more. We didn't really get, we didn't get to see it. Um, I heard in advance that they were going to incorporate the Wendigo more, and I was expecting more of it, but it was just a mention of it, like they talked about the origin of it, and then you kind of get a somewhat of a glimpse of him, but it's like a, oh wait, is that what that is? Or maybe it's not. I don't know. But um, other than that, it stayed... Well, no, there's a couple more. But it stayed very true to the original storyline. Um, the actors in it were very, very good. The little kid that they got to play Gage looks and sounds so much like the original little boy. It was insane. Um, that leads me into the one of the little plot twists that I was talking about. Um, the little girl gets hit instead of the little boy and dies. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. It... They tried to do a way the little boy might get hit and then the dad saves him and then oh look, now the little girl gets hit. But it... Mm -mm. Um... I don't know. That... I'm still on the fence about whether I liked the way they switched it up or not. Um, I felt like it wasn't very necessary because the storyline still stayed exactly the same, even with the little girl. He still dug her up. Um, instead of the little girl having the dreams about Pascal, it was Gage, um, the little girl still kills Judd with the knife to the Achilles tendon, um, it was still the same exact storyline, they just killed the little girl. Um, the one thing that I did like about it though, or that I appreciated, was in the original movie, as many times as I have seen it, that scene where Gage gets killed still breaks my heart every time I get teary-eyed it's still like it just it does something to me and I don't know what it is about that scene but it just does I don't know if it was how cute he was I, I have no idea but that scene where the little girl gets killed and I'm not gonna give away too much on how it all happens but on that scene where she gets killed it, it still, it broke my heart in that same exact way. So that I highly appreciate. That they can keep that same feeling going that you get from the original movie in the second one. That was great. I did enjoy that a lot. Um, the end, I will not spoil the end. I will not. There is a plot twist a little bit. Um, but I thought it was cool. I, I liked how they did the ending a lot. They also kept it open to where if they decide to do a second one, they could continue the story of the family a little bit into that. I mean, they might not. They might just decide to redo the second one entirely. They may decide to do something else, or they may decide to not do a second one. But it did really good in the box office. Um, 
I didn't get a chance to sit down and check the <laughs> the ratings of it before I started doing this, but um, I'd give it a four. I'd give it four and a half out of five. That's my thing. There was a couple little things that I didn't like about it. Um, mainly the things that I didn't like about it was I felt that the switch between which child was killed was kind of unnecessary and I wish they had expanded on the story a little bit more um, I felt like they when they were when they originally stated that they were going to do the Pet Cemetery remake I was excited about it because they have the potential to do so much more with it but they, they stuck very closely to the original storyline, and I kind of wish they would have given it a little bit more. But, um, like I said, everything else I loved about it. The movie was great. Um, all of the actors were great. Of course, with Judd, the actor that played um, Herman Munster was the original Judd in Pet Cemetery. so it was sad not seeing him in that role, but the, the actor that they got to play him did a very good job. So all of them were very, very close to what the original actors were like. It was, it was weird, but it was pretty cool. So yeah, definitely, if you get the chance to go see it in theaters, do so. Like it was so cool seeing it in the theater. Um, some movies, you know, I'm like, oh, it's, it was good seeing it in the theater, but, you know, I could have waited to see it at home, too. But this one, it's just, I don't know, something about it being in the theater just made made it really cool. I, I enjoyed it a lot. So, if you've already seen it, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. Um, I want to know what your opinion is on the child-killing switch. <laughs> Do you think they should have left it as Gage or... Are you happy that they changed it and it was the little girl? What are your, what are your thoughts on it? I'm, I'm curious. So, like I said, let me know in the comments section below. And um, if you have any suggestions on movies that you want me to review in the next video, then you can let me know that as well. Alright, and now it's time for our unboxing. And today we have coffin box. Yay! I love coffin box. But in case you guys didn't see the beginning part of this video and just decided to skip to the end of the unboxing, because I have a feeling some of you do, but no worries. Um, <laughs> this is the very last coffin box because unfortunately coffin box is ending. They're not doing coffin box anymore and if you want to hear a little bit more about it, Go back to the beginning of the video in the horror news section, and I'm going to be talking more about it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's so sad. This is the last coffin box. I have really, really enjoyed them. Um, it's a great co like, collaboration between Room Org and Horror Pack, and thank you to both of these companies for trying this out and putting together a coffin box for us. We really, really enjoyed it, and... Sad to see it go, but all good things must come to an end, I guess. So, without further ado, let's get these o this open. And if you've seen my other videos, you know Coffin Box always comes with a Rumorg magazine, a Blu-ray, a t-shirt, and then a few other little items. Um, this box sadly got a little bit messed up. There's like, it, it got, almost looks like it got stepped on. So hopefully there's nothing breakable inside of here and everything is fine, but no, no fault of coffin box. It's post office, you know. You guys know how it goes. All right, let's get this thing open. All right, so, okay, so the first thing up here on the top is our t-shirt. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I have a funny story to tell you guys too. Here's our t-shirt. It's really cool. I like this a lot. This is definitely gonna get a lot of wear, but um, I have 
actually been designing my next tattoo. Yeah, I, I can draw a little bit. It's not too great, but I'm working on it. Um, yeah, I've been designing my next tattoo because I'm trying to finish up my arm. I have, you can't really see, but I have all up here. I'm trying to fill this up too, but um, yeah, it's going to be a heart, an anatomically correct heart, not, you know, but um, with some other stuff on it, that's, I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but yeah, it's pretty funny that that's what my next tattoo is going to be, and then here we go, heart that turns into a skull. Pretty appropriate. You know Coffin Box, you know. <laughs> Alright, and then our next thing here is a pin. Oh my god, this is cool too. Let's see, let me get this out for you guys. It's like a little voodoo style enamel pin. Hopefully it's not too dark and you guys can see it. Let's see, focus. Focus. You can kind of see it if I move my face. It's a little better. But yeah, it's got little, little snakes on the side of it, which you guys know I love my snakes, so. It's got little snakes and then the skull and the top hat with a feather. It reminds me of, I don't know if anybody's going to even know this game, um, Smite <laughs> on PlayStation. I play that game, and one of my favorite characters to be is Baron Samity. I guess that's how you would pronounce his name. And this dude reminds me of that. So that's really cool. That's going to go in my backpack for sure. I have a backpack purse that's full of all my enamel pins. Just decorate the whole thing with them. And let's see, next we have Hellraiser 3 set of six drink coasters. Ooh, that's cool. So here's what they look like. And let's see, I'm gonna open this up so I can see what the coasters are actually made of. These are cool. They're cardboard, but they're like a, a thick, like a thick cardboard. Let's see. So here's one of them. And then it's got like the Hellraiser thing and the chains on the back. That's cool. Oh, and some of them are different. So like we've got this one, and we've got that one, and we've got that one. Cool. I can always use coasters. For sure. I, I'm really bad about losing them too. I've gotten some in like the Glamour Ghoul box before and I have no earthly clue where they are. Which is sad because I liked those. They had Jack Skellington on them. <laughs> Get that closed back up. Okay. And now we have our Blu-ray. Ooh. This is cool. So our Blu-ray for this month, you guys, is Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, Unrated Producer's Cut. Um, yes. I'm super excited about this. I don't have this one on DVD at all. And now I have it on Blu-ray. God, I'm gonna miss coffin box. You guys are just the best. Look. Let's see if I can get without the glare. And then it says, the unrated producer's cut features nearly 70 minutes of unedited footage. Ooh. As well as a shocking alternate ending. Oh my god. the back of it. I'm super excited to watch this, you guys. This is a great one to have in here. Let's see. And then here is our Room Work magazine. Yay! I love Room Work magazine. I really do. 
Ooh, and it talks about Pet Cemetery. The New Dawn of Black Horror. Invasion of the Blood Farmers. Leprechaun Returns. The Pop Culture Profiles of Paul Jackson. The House by the Cemetery comic book. Ooh. Oh, and of course, like I always have to do, I have to go and find... Um... I have to go and find Homicidal Homemaker. Let's see. I'm going to find it real quick for you guys so you can see. Because as you know, I love Homicidal Homemaker too. And she's got her own section in here. Oh my god, this is cool. Okay, so her recipe for the magazine is Leprechaun Cursed Clover Crate Quiche. A long name, but this looks so good. Oh my god. So here's here's your page. And there's what it looks like. And I'm covering up part of the recipe because you know that's kind of cheating. <laughs> you gotta go to you gotta go to her website. Go to the homicidalhomemaker.com and I will leave that link in the description box below. And you can find all of her recipes, and you can find this recipe too and go go show her some love and she has uh she has a youtube channel too so you can go and actually watch her cook some of her recipes and it's always so much fun i love watching her youtube channel Ooh, this looks like such a good one oh, sorry guys i'm getting distracted <laughs> and then let's see there's something else in here Cool. So this is just kind of explaining, um, this is just kind of explaining their reasons as to why Coffin Box is closing down. Not really closing down, but ending, I guess you would say. But yeah, that's it for that box. That was, oh, that was so good. So sad that it's over, but yet. It was such a good box. It was a really, a really, really good last box here. So just to kind of go over what we got, um, we got our magazine, we got Halloween Blu-ray, coasters, pin, and this really awesome t-shirt. So good. But, um, yeah, if you guys really liked this stuff, that was in this box, then you can still kind of get it. Um, you can go to Room Morgue. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. It's just roomorg.com, but I'll leave that link below here for you. And you can subscribe to just the magazine. Um, you can also go to, the words are escaping me, Horror Pack. You can go to Horror Pack, which I will leave below as well, of course. And um, you can actually get a subscription for either I think it's four Blu-rays or four DVDs per month. And I'm thinking about doing that one. I'm probably going to do the Blu-ray. Um, it's, I want to say it was like 22 something a month and you get four Blu-rays or four DVDs. And they're all horror, of course. And one of them is always a exclusive, and a lot of times they'll have it signed and stuff for you. So I'm thinking about doing that one. Most likely I'll end up doing it because they pick out some really, really good Blu-rays. Um, there's a couple YouTubers that I watch that get horror pack, and especially lately, they have been lit. <laughs> they have been really, really good horror movies and you know I'm always always looking for more to watch especially because now being back in Texas not in Florida anymore um, I'm a little bit more limited on horror that I have access to um, in Florida there was just so much stuff to do so many places to go I had a lot more horror stuff around me um, here, not quite so much. So, 
this will be a good way to kind of stay in, out there in the horror world and find new movies to review for you guys and just more fun for myself. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Stay spooky.